now our next topic is property of z transformation so why we use this property okay for example if you know the z transformation of u signal and you need to find the z transformation of some other signal which is nothing but a modification of the previous signal so with the help of these property you can solve the z transformation easily okay and you can find roc what are the modification we need to do with the z transformation signal or roc we will see that okay so these are very important we will see one by one what are the different properties of z transformation so sabse pehla yahan pe property hai that is linearity so before that i declare one thing it is just like global declaration that x of n z transformation of x of n is nothing but x of z with roc with roc is equal to r okay so i am not going to write this statement again and again in each and every property you can take this as a declaration that x of n uh, z transformation of x of n is x of z and roc is r okay agar hum yahan likhte hain x1 of n then you can figure it out that x transformation uh, z transformation of x1 of n is x1 of z and roc will be r1 okay now we start with our first property that is linearity okay so according to linearity z transformation of alpha x1 of n plus alpha x2 of n sorry uh, better to write beta beta x2 of n okay so z transformation of alpha x x1 of n plus beta x2 of n will be alpha x1 of n ka z transformation kya ho jayega that is x1 of z okay so this will be x1 of z with the same uh, declaration okay and z transformation of x2 of n will be x2 of z ओके okay, तो यहाँ पे किसी भी तरह का चेंजेस नहीं आएगा अगर हम किसी कांस्टेंट को मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं सिग्नल में ओके एंड आर ओ सी ऑफ आर वन सॉरी आर ओ सी ऑफ एक्स वन सिग्नल इज आर वन आर ओ सी ऑफ एक्स टू सिग्नल इज आर टू सो हेयर आर ओ सी विल बी आर वन इंटरसेक्शन आर टू ओके वेयर आर वन इज द आर ओ सी ऑफ एक्स वन सिग्नल आर टू इज द आर ओ सी ऑफ एक्स टू सिग्नल ओके and make a note here that if you do addition or subtraction instead of this suppose we have alpha x1 of n minus beta x2 of n so agar yahan subtraction bhi hota then your roc roc will not going to change for addition and subtraction okay it will remain same in the z domain now i mention here roc remain same for addition and subtraction in z domain okay now next property is time shifting now according to this property agar x of n ka z transformation x of z hai if the z transformation of x of n is x of z and roc is r then z transformation of x of n minus n not will be equal to z to the power minus n not okay so yahan pe hum jitna shift karenge utna hi hum yahan pe exponent mein dekhenge okay so z uh, z to the power minus n not into x of z okay and what about roc roc is not going to change but there is some condition for that okay we will see that also now let's see how we got this so what is z transformation formula suppose z transformation of x of n minus n not so how we are going to represent this this is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n minus n not into z to the power minus n okay this is the formula now put n minus n not is equal to k okay so agar n ka value minus infinity hai then k will be minus infinity 
if n is equal to plus infinity k will be also equal to plus infinity if n is equal to minus infinity k is minus infinity if n is equal to plus infinity k is plus infinity okay because n is equal to k plus n not right n is equal to k plus n not what is minus infinity plus n, n not that is minus infinity and plus infinity plus n not that is also plus infinity okay now just modify this previous equation so this will be equal to z to the power summation of so instead of n we can write k okay so k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity and x of what is n minus n0 that is k and what is z to the power minus n that is k plus n0 okay now we can write this equation as z to the power minus n0 into summation of k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k into z to the power minus k so we can write this as x of z right because yahan pe hmm yahan pe agar hum iska z transformation ka formula likhe then it will be z transformation of x of n is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n into z to the power minus n okay which is nothing but x of z so same formula uh, we got here right see this same formula instead of n you can use k so z transformation of this will be x of z so we can write this as z to the power minus n not into x of z okay now what about roc of this one so roc is completely dependent on is completely dependent on n not okay let's see how suppose z transformation of delta n what is the z transformation of delta n that is 1 what is roc roc is entire z prime okay now what about z transformation of delta n minus n not or i put one here okay so what will be the z transformation of this z transformation of uh, z transformation of delta n is 1 so what is the z transformation of delta n minus 1 use this property so this will be equal to z to the power minus 1 into z transformation of delta n that is 1 what about roc so in this case roc will be entire z plane except z is equal to 0 okay this is how we represent roc will be entire z plane except z is equal to 0 okay now take one more example delta n plus 2 तो यहाँ पे n नॉट की जगह हम क्या यूज़ किए हैं 2 राइट right? तो यहाँ पे प्लस 2 है तो यहाँ पे z ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन क्या आएगा z का पावर कितना हो जाएगा दैट इज 2 इन टू जेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेल्टा एन दैट इज 1 व्हाट अबाउट आर ओ सी आर ओ सी विल बी इंटायर जेड प्लेन एक्सेप्ट जेड इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी ओके सो हेयर यू विल गेट जेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विल बी इंटायर जेड प्लेन एक्सेप्ट जेड इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी entire z plane except z is equal to infinity okay so i guess this make sense to you that roc for time shifting depend upon n not if it is minus n not then you can use that 
uh, then you can say that z transformation is entire z plane except z is equal to 0 if it is plus and not then you can say that z transformation is entire z plane except z is equal to infinity now let's move on to our third property or uh, yeah one more i missed here delta n plus 1 suppose or n minus 1 plus delta n plus delta n plus 2 so what will be the z transformation of this one so z transformation of delta n minus 1 is z to the power minus 1 z transformation of delta n is 1 and z transformation of delta n plus 2 is z to the power 2 and what about roc so roc in this case is entire z plane except z is equal to 0 and z is equal to infinity okay so here roc is entire z plane except z is equal to 0 and z is equal to infinity now next property is scaling okay so suppose uh, z transformation of x of n is x of z roc is r and what will be the z transformation of a to the power n x of n that will be equal to x of z by a which is nothing but x of a inverse z and roc will be mod a into r okay now let's prove this equation x of uh, z transformation of a to the power n u of n is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a to the power n u of n z to the power minus n so can we write this equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity u of n into a a into z inverse to the power n right now we have seen the formula right uh, here so yahan pe formula mein kya hai minus n z to the power minus n so jis bhi cheez ka power minus n hoga that will be your uh, variable in the z transformation right so we will convert this into minus n so we can write this equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity u of n into instead of this we can write a to the power minus 1 z to the power minus n so can we write this equation as okay sorry i mentioned here u of n okay it's better to keep x of n because this signal can be anything x of n so this can be written as z by a or a inverse z right okay now last property of this video uh, later on we will see differentiation integration but after this four property we are going to solve few questions so that it will be easy for you to understand the concept now we'll see property of time reversal time reversal okay so according to this property if we reverse the time that is instead of n we can we have to use minus n so z transformation of x of n is x of z what will be the z transformation of x of minus n then we can write this as x of z inverse okay and what about roc this way uh, we can write this as 1 by z okay so what about roc roc will be equal to 1 by r so you can remember this as reversal in time domain is nothing but inversion in z domain 
ओके सो अगर हम टाइम को रिवर्स करते हैं तो हमारा जेड डोमेन में भी क्या हो जाएगा रिवर्स इन्वर्स हो जाएगा और तुम्हारा आर भी क्या होगा इन्वर्स हो जाएगा ना इसका हम प्रूफ देख लेते हैं सो बाई डेफिनेशन Z transformation of x of minus n will be summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of minus n into z to the power minus n. Now put minus n is equal to k. Okay, so if n is equal to minus infinity, k is plus infinity. k will be plus infinity and if n is equal to plus infinity k will be minus infinity you can write this as summation like n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity or n is equal to plus infinity to minus infinity okay both are equal because suppose you need to add q number 1 2 3 4 5 so if you add in this direction or this direction both will be same so don't uh, don't get confused with this so we can write this equation as summation of k is equal to plus infinity or minus infinity to plus infinity x of k into instead of writing z to the power k we can write this as z to the power minus 1 minus k okay so can we write this equation as x of instead of z we need to use z inverse or we can write this equation as x of 1 by z i hope this is clear to you uh, let's solve few question in our next video and later on we will see remaining properties of z transformation